hello queens and welcome back today i am bringing to you guys my highly requested video on how to do flat twists on 3c for a hair i'm using the that's for naturals curling cream this was in my recent september curl kit so if you haven't watched an unboxing check the description box below but we're going to start out and we're going to just simply start out with one single strand a lot of people say two but i just start with one so i just slide my finger underneath and with my left hand i take that one strand and then i'll take my right hand and slide underneath again of the remaining section to combine with the new strand so i'm going to show this for you guys several times throughout this video so do not fret i'm going to break it down for you guys as much as possible but it is very very simple to achieve a flat twist out so again taking your right index finger slide your finger underneath the remaining section and then take that left strand and then push it over into your right hand you're pretty much doing a swapping of strands but making sure that for each time that you're sliding your right index finger underneath the remaining section that you're going to combine that little section of hair with the new section and then just make sure that you detangle at the ends and then continue with your two strand twist for the remaining flat twist so now starting on another section you guys i particularly like to make sure that i use a product that has a lot of slip so that's one key tip that i can give you guys when wanting to actually create a flat twist use a product that does provide a good enough hold as well as slip so that way you can create your flat twist so starting again take your right index finger create your first strand put it in your left hand and then taking your right hand slide it underneath and then bring the left strand around to your right hand while moving the other strand over to your left hand it's easier if you just watch versus me trying to explain honestly so just take your time in doing this you that's really another key tip that i can give you as well for a flat twist so as you guys see here you want to make sure that at the end that you're making sure that your flat twists are very taut to the scalp but not so tight to where you can't stand it you just want to make sure that your hair is laying pretty much as flat as possible to your scalp and this is what your flat twist will look at look like so i'm going to show you guys again on a larger section near the crown of my head again the same technique taking my right hand creating that first strand and then you're going to grab that hair slide it underneath and it's just like that and then you just keep making sure that you move that left hand strand underneath the right hand strand that's really what you're doing it's like twisting literally but just laying it flat while making sure that you're grabbing some more hair with your new strand that you're creating with your right hand so you guys, I hope I slowed this down enough for you guys and actually broke it down to where you can actually try to create the flat twist. But honestly, practice makes perfect. I mean, I mean, I transitioned for six months before I even achieved a very good flat twist, you guys, like literally near the end of my transitioning journey. But again, practice makes perfect. Do not become discouraged, you guys, because honestly, flat twist outs and pretty much flat twists are like a good protective style but now that we're in the fall months you guys i know you guys are ecstatic but me i love the summertime but yeah flat twists are very good for actually tucking your strands away for the fall and winter months and even for the summertime as you guys saw that's really what i wore a lot this summer were flat twisted styles so that way my hair could just pretty much be protected tucked away it really does help with eliminating a lot of shedding so if you deal with a lot of shedding i would definitely look into more protective styles and flat twist really can help you with getting another style for another day so this is a couple of days later and i just took some oil of my choice applied it to my fingers and then began unraveling my twist at the ends so with the flat twist you'll notice that it's like a little piece of strand of hair right there that is actually holding those two larger twists together and that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to take your flat twist down so that way you don't just pretty much destroy your definition and your style all together so taking it down you want to take your time because if you guys cannot tell here my hair was already separating on its own because it was so defined so on top of trying to find that single strand hair it was already coming down because of the definition so we're going to repeat the same steps again but you're going to look for that small piece of hair there it is and you're going to pull that because that's pretty much what's holding your two big twists together helping you to make sure that you had quote unquote the flat twist so i mean you guys again i hope i explained this as much as in detail as possible please 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 feel free to share this videos with other naturalistas who are 
either a type three or four hair type so that way they too can learn how to flat twist if they are struggling as well so make sure you get that small piece of hair and then continue to take down your flat twist accordingly you guys but honestly i love flat twists they're perfect for the style and a quick go-to setting style method once you actually learn how to flat twist so queens i really do hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and turn on your bell so that way you can be notified when i upload new content here on my channel okay thank you so much for hanging out with me today queens and i'll see you guys in my next upload be blessed